Go for it, boss. All right, so now that my group has presented, or will present their parts, uh, we're going to apply trigonometry to all the mess. And the graph just looks cool. We're going to be able to figure that out later on. So then, this is my example, and we're going to have to find the, the prime y of all of this. And it looks ugly right now, but we'll break it down. So then, first of all, um, what's again through this presentation? So we're going to find ways to break down the long equation down to pieces that we'll understand. Now, what to expect to see in this equation? So through this presentation, we'll encounter with the product rule, the chain rule, and the implicit differentiation. And so now, let's recall important concepts. I'm not going to go into detail with these, because my group is doing that, but the product rule. That's just the derivative of the first one times the second regular plus the derivative of the second one plus, I mean, times the regular first one. We should know that by now. The chain rule is you work from the outside to the inside, or the most out. I just look at it from left to right. Then we have the implicit differentiation. That's when you're not giving an easy problem with the form y equals fx. You have to actually work with that problem and get the prime by doing a couple changes to both sides. And we'll go into detail right now. So then, now we're ready to do a challenge problem. And we're going to divide this into two problems. The first one is the first half. As you can see, this first half. And it's just y times the sine of in parentheses x squared. The second part is x times sine times y to the second power. Now we're going to actually do a problem. Do <coughs> have any more colors? Yes. All right, well, first of all, we see that there's a product rule. We have two terms. We have the y and this long one. Yeah. All right. This one doesn't work. All right. Now, we have these two terms, and we're going to use the product rule to figure out their derivatives. So then, but within this one, we have a chain rule. So then, first of all, let's start off with this one. Derivative of y is just simply y prime. We're going to multiply that times the derivative of this, but first we have to find the derivative of this using the chain rule. Now we have sine times x squared. This is simply cosine. Now this is a common mistake. We tend to derivative this, but we have to just bring it down for right now. And it's going to be x squared. Now we're going to multiply that times the derivative of what's in here, which is 2x. Now that we found the chain rule for the second one, we can use the product rule to find the solution. And I look at it as a common simplification, but that's sort of confusing. So just use the formula of y prime w plus y prime u. So then we're going to multiply y prime times sine of x squared plus this regular one, which is y times cosine x squared 2x. So now we have this long, confusing one. And a lot of people, wait, that's the second one? All right, so this is the first one. Now that we have this long problem, we're going to put it aside and just remember this for the second part. So when it's y prime sine of x squared plus y cosine x squared times 2x. Now, let's move on to the second part. Now, the second part was the second half. And we're going to follow the same steps we did. So the derivative of x is simply 1. This, we have to do the chain rule again. So that we get sine, I mean, the derivative of the sine, which is cosine times the inside, and we don't change that, common mistake, times 
the derivative of the inside, which is 2y. And then we tend to forget this y also has a y prime. So now that we get the chain rule, we do the same thing. And it's going to be sine of y squared plus x cosine y squared times 2y y prime. Now, this is our answer for the second part. And that's our answer for the first part. And now we're going to bring it all together. Because we divided them into two separate groups, but they're all part of one. So uh, we have the second part, which we have right here. And that's the first part. Let me bring it down here. It's y prime sine x squared plus y. Woo, right now it's big. Y prime sine x squared plus y cosine x squared times 2x equals that. All right, so now we have the full equation. Now let's change the different color for our y primes, because that's what we want to get out of this problem. So this is red, y prime. We have one right here, we have another one down here, y prime. And what we want to do is bring them to the same side so that we can manipulate it and end up with y prime. So then we're going to subtract all of this to both sides. So minus this whole part, this cancels out, and we bring it into this part. And then we're going to add this side. And then we're going to subtract this side to both sides. So then this cancels out and it comes over here. So then we're going to end up with y prime sine of x squared minus this whole side, which is x cosine y squared times 2y y prime. And it's going to equal what we have right here, which is simply sine times y squared. Then we subtracted this whole side, which would be minus y cosine of x squared times 2x. Now that we have both of the y primes on the same side, we want to factor it out so that we can end up with our solution, which we want the y prime of this equation. So then using the implicit differentiation, we're going to factor it out. So we get y prime times, we get sine of x squared. Then we have another y right here. So then we bring it out and we get minus x cosine y squared times 2y. And then this is going to equal to what we have right here, which is sine y squared minus y cosine x squared times 2x. Now, since our answer has to be in y prime form, we're going to divide it and end up with y prime by itself. We divide this whole part and we put it down on this side. So let's bring it up here. And the answer is going to be y prime equals sine of y squared minus y cosine of x squared times 2x all divided by that whole x, which is sine of x squared minus x cosine of y squared times 2y. And this is our final answer. So now that we have the answer, we have completed our concept for the day, which is finding the derivative using trigonometry to this long problem, dividing it into two sections, first and second, bringing it back together, using the principle differentiation, and then meeting up with the answer. Uh,